Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It seems like the Ukrainians are very successful lately in uh, destroying Russian positions, Russian uh, military personnel and uh, Russian um, ammunition depots among others, bridges and whatever they want to hit they hit. Uh, command posts, they are the best. So let's see uh, what else they were able to do using those uh, high mars and er everything else they got from their uh, sponsors. This article comes from Ukrainska Pravda from July 25, 2022. This is the title Ukrainian defenders destroy three Russian air defense systems and seven artillery systems according to the general staff. Over the past day Ukraine's defenders have destroyed three air defense systems and four Russian cruise missiles, as well as five drones, eight armored combat vehicles, two multiple launch rocket systems, and seven artillery systems. It's quite, a, quite an achievement here. General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported, reported on the morning of July 25th. It says that Russia suffered the greatest losses on the Krematorsk front. And the, to the total combat losses of the Russian army from 24th February to 25th of July are estimated to be, uh, so now they're gonna give us the whole list of how many people died according to them and how many uh, uh, um, weapons were destroyed and uh, targets. So they're estimated and uh, they say that in, uh, I used to do this kind of videos before where I would just mention in how many were killed, how many were killed in the past 24 hours. So the first amount is for the total since the beginning of the war. The second number or figure would be will be the in the past 24 hours. So according to this Ukraine uh, armed forces, uh, about 39,700 39, military personnel. So that would be almost 40,000 military personnel and 180 were killed in the past 24 hours. They claim that they destroyed 1,700, this is tanks, tanks, 1,730 tanks, uh, almost 2,000 tanks and eight in the past 24 hours. Armored combat vehicles, 3,950, that's almost 4,000 uh, armored combat vehicles, eight in the past 24 hours. Artillery systems, 876, that's almost 1,000, I would just say, is unbelievable, really. Multiple launch rocket systems, 257 plus two, past 24 hours. Air defense systems, 116 plus three. Aircraft, 222 aircraft plus one in the past 24 hours, 188 helicopters. And then it says operational tactical level UAVs, 719, it's plus five in the past 24 hours. Cruise missiles, 174, four in the past 24 hours. Ships slash boats, 15. Vehicles and tankers, 2,832 plus nine in the past 24 hours. Special vehicles, 73. The data is being confirmed, is written here. Reminder, Ukrainian air defense systems shot down four Russian missiles in Khmelnytsky region on July 24th. Now, uh, I made a little calculation before because if I they say about 39,000, 30, that's 40, let's make 40,000 personnel killed. Uh, and I made a little calculation, okay, that's uh, 1,730 tanks. So if I put a crew of a tank, let's say three, right? And I multiply that, let's round it with about, I don't know, let's say 2,000, right? It's gonna be 6,000 people just in the tanks. They said armored co combat vehicles. How many should I put over there? At least three, and it's 4,000. 4,000 armored combat vehicles. So it's 4,000 multiplied by three as a crew, let's say minimum, 
minimum you get about 12,000 12,000 with how much was the other one which was about 6,000 I get what 18,000 already on the first two 18,000 and then I go to artillery systems 8,000 how many were in the artillery system three again it's 3,000 it's more than 21,000 this is just 20 in a in a, a how should I put it not combatants you know with a rifle fighting automatic weapon these are just people and I just as I said if I go with the airplane let's put one pilot or usually there are two so put two over there in 220 so that's 400 400 and right it's almost 405 450 people air defense systems how many are in a crew three again it's 116 you got about 400 people a helicopters 188 how many are over there minimum two if they tr uh, tr transport people so it's almost 200 let's say two right so it's 200 it's four it's 400 people right there operational tactical level UAVs okay and then ships uh, vehicles and tankers let's say two people and that's 2832 so it's almost three three thousand so if I take all these guys from the the machinery the weapons the whatever they were hit in uh, airplanes tanks uh, armored combat vehicles I would get about 30,000 at least I made a calculation before so then it, it remains only 10,000 of of uh, combatants like you know um, in, infantry people with the weapons 10,000 in uh, in um, and these are pro and probably they're inflated all, all these numbers so 10,000 in what in five months it's what it's no I, I don't think so it's what 2000 um, about what 2000 a, uh, a, a, a month if you take 10,000 as being a total uh, infantry 2,000 a month now you, you divide it by this is 70 a day or something um, no I don't think so I mean it doesn't I don't know it, it makes a calculation if you remember they said that they killed about 200 Russians a day so if you go by this calculation you get to the exact data because you go 10,000 as I said five months make it per day you get about seven people 70 people 70 people a day on average and this guy said uh, they're killing Russians in about 200 a day nevertheless uh, as, as I said these are their um, their numbers so I'm expecting them to be inflated and uh, if there would be the Russian numbers they would be deflated and if the Russians will uh, would uh, report the Ukrainians casualties and destruction destruction and losses they will be inflated and again about theirs deflate maximized minimized that's how it goes always and uh, we will know uh, an, a more exact approximation uh, probably in about 10 years or so I'm guessing I'm just saying 10 years but probably I don't know it depends when the war ends and how it ends uh, then we're gonna find uh, the approximation a little bit closer or maybe they will exaggerate like you know I, I think they will uh, will come to more exact um, figures after the war is over obviously when uh, the uh, some uh, uh, you know interest will come down a little bit even though it would be the interest of oh this is a destruction we were capable of in inflicting on the opposite oh no this is how much we got so I think the lie will perpetrate thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just